Amen. So at this time, people of God, you all ready for the word? Amen. All right, so at this time, if you all would receive our brother, Ernest, uh, as he introduces uh, our apostle. Receive him now in Jesus' name. church all the time. I'm not playing, but I'm praying. Amen. I don't think you heard me. Hallelujah. I said I am praying and not playing. Amen. Come on here. Hallelujah. There's a lot of leaders that are playing and not praying. But how many of you know God is about to turn some things around? Hallelujah. Because the intercessors are on their watch and on the wall. Hallelujah. I don't think you heard me. Hallelujah. Because the intercessors are praying. Something is about to shift in the earth realm. Oh, y'all not going to talk back to me. Sometimes God got to use certain situations and certain things to get our attention, to get us back on our knees again. Hallelujah. And how many of you know intercessors, it's time to pray like never before. Come on, prayer warriors. I'm talking to those even on Facebook. Glory to God. Intercessors, we enter in and we take back everything. Hallelujah. Y'all not going to talk back to me today. Hallelujah. Intercessors, we enter in through prayer and we take back what the devil stole from us. Hallelujah. I said intercessors, we got the ability to pray until ceasing. I said intercessors, oh, with some intercessors in the building. Somebody shout it ain't gonna 
take that long. Hey, look at your neighbor and say, it ain't going to take that long. Hey, God. I'm reminded of the 120 that was in the upper room. The Bible says when they was on one accord, hallelujah, the power of God, the Holy Ghost, came in like a rushing mighty wind. And it filled the temple. It filled everybody that was seated in the place. Something is about to happen, church. Men can carry spiritual babies too now. 
I'm not just talking to the women. And so what he showed me in the spirit, young lady, he showed me a nine month, yeah, uh -huh, a woman carrying a baby in flash before me. He said, and I promise you, this is what God said. He said, if they was in labor, or if it was a husband and had a wife that was in labor, he'll do everything he can to get his wife to the hospital to save that baby. Did you hear me in the spirit? Some of you carrying something great. And you got to get to the house of God so your baby can be nourished. Hallelujah. Because when you're carrying a baby, hey, God, when you're carrying something precious, it got to be covered. It got to be nurtured. And how many of you know the devil is waiting for you out there? Hallelujah. The devil is, y'all not going to talk back to me. Hallelujah. Because he's the ruler of the earth. He the ruler of this world. See, the devil is up to no good. But you got to cover your baby. You got to cover what God gave you. Come on, I need to call this light. Hallelujah. You got to cover. Hallelujah. What God gave you. And as I was walking in, I heard the testimonies. And let me just encourage the church. Continue to testify. Because that's how you learn to overcome. See, sometimes, hallelujah, glory. Sometimes people look God. Amen. When you come to the house, you get strength also. Amen. And know this on Facebook. God bless you, but you should have been here. Oh, yeah. I'm the real pastor. See, I'm the pastor that's going to tell you the truth. I ain't sugarcoating nothing. Come on here. Somebody might say, well, it's dangerous. Well, you go to Walmart, and it's dangerous. Come on over this side. If you need your medication, you at the pharmacy. You ain't risking that. You won't get... Let me come on over here. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. The job call you in to do a double. You just came from a ship, but they call you in to do a double. But it's snowing outside. What you gonna do? Cause you want that money. So you gonna go to work. You ain't gonna tell the boss, oh no, it's snowing. You know from here, we don't come out in the snow when it's raining. Boss gonna say, okay, you telling me no? That's what the Lord said. He said, you tell He said, you telling me no? You know how many people telling God no, but they still got stuff on the altar. Woo! You know how many people telling God no? He's saying, all I need is for you to surrender. All and coughing all over you in the line in Walmart, you ain't saying nothing. But then when the saints come to church, you like, ooh, I wish I had a coat or something I could wrap up, you know, just cover my head. That's what the saints try to do. Ooh, let me get away from everybody. Holy Ghost speaking. We got to make up in our mind who we going to serve. Because when you serve God, you don't mind coming to church. When you serve God, Right here. 
Minister Tanya, the one y'all see sitting right here, she's my assistant. And I remember about four years ago, she came to her first revival that we had in Philadelphia. That's where I'm from, y'all, for the new, the new visitors that's in the building. I'm from Philadelphia. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. I wouldn't say born and raised, but I was born in New York. Amen. I was there for 10 days. Then my mama took me to Philadelphia to be raised by my grandmother. Amen. Y'all not going to talk back to me. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God, but I thank God for it. Amen. And so, Minister Tanya, I remember when, amen, she said, okay, pastor, I'm going to bring the kids. We're going to come to the revival. I don't know if it was her first or second time, but it was a snowstorm. And they was in about maybe seven inches of snow. And I remember when the snow started falling. See, it was falling in Philly, but you was on your way from Raleigh to come to Philly. So I called her to check up on her. I said, y'all okay? She was like, Pastor, we're in the midst of a storm. I said, keep on going. I said, you're halfway there. I said, keep on going. You're halfway there. Who am I talking to? Sometimes in the midst of the storm, you got to keep on going. Because you're halfway there. If you give up and turn around and go back, you done forfeited everything that God had for you. Who am I talking to today? Glory to God. Hallelujah. And when she got to Philadelphia, I remember she said the kids looked around because they ain't never seen snow before. She said, they was like, what is this? I said, y'all going to be all right. Come on in the hotel. Because that's where we had it at. We had it in the conference. In a conference room in the hotel. Amen. And I'm sharing her testimony because she didn't give up. Amen. Now, she was from a place here in Raleigh, North Carolina, where if it snowed, they ain't come outside. Amen. But she said, I got to keep on going. So in the midst of that, that flashed before me today too, daughter. And God showed me in the midst of her persevering four years ago. Hey, it's because she persevered that she's still here today. Hallelujah. And she's still serving in ministry because she didn't give up. Come on, give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Oh, you can do better than that. Come on, give Jesus a hand clap of praise. So God said on today, he said, your blessing is in the pressing. What does it mean to press? Press means urgency. It means critical. It means needing immediate attention. So when you have to press your way to something, it's because it requires your attention. Come on, pressing also means demanding. It also means imperative is crucial. Somebody shout, I got to be where God is. Oh, oh my, I got to be in the presence of the Lord. Come on, Sister Pamela in the back. You got to be where God is. And so in my studies, the Lord flashed before me press conference. I said, God, what are you saying? Hey, he said, it's just like a press conference. You know how they have a press conference, you know, on the, on the, on the news or on the television? They stop everything. Listen, it could be your favorite TV show one, and it'll say press conference, press conference, press, it'll flash before you, or it will like a warning sign will come, and you're like, wait a minute, something is about to be, something is about to be announced, and what happens is it grabs your attention, and you stay glued to the TV, don't you? You stay glued, say, what is this? It's a press conference, and they done set it up real quick. You know how they set it up real quick? Because everybody's still getting their stuff together. You look on TV, you see the person with the notes, and you see the other person over there, and they like, we're going to get this thing together. And they announce what it is that's about to take place. But it's always to prepare the people. Somebody shout, that's just like church. Hallelujah. Extra, extra, read all about it. Oh, y'all not going to talk back to me. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, extra, extra, read all about it. And that's just like the church. The church ain't lose its power. Because I'm one of the prophets, hallelujah, that's going to cry aloud and spare not. Let me tell you something. I ain't a jelly bag pastor. I'm going to still preach the gospel. I'm going to preach it till you get saved. I'm going to preach it till your children get saved. I'm going to preach it till your husband get saved. I'm going to preach it till your wife get saved. I'm going to preach the gospel until I leave this earth. The gospel ain't change, but people have. I don't think you heard me. I said the gospel has not changed, but people have changed. Come on. Jesus is coming back. But will you be ready? See, you get your information and your instruction in church. Come on. Hallelujah. It don't come from your job. It don't come from the world. Hey, shut up number high. Because the world don't listen. The world don't care nothing about the church. The world don't, y'all ain't going to talk back to me. But some of y'all worship your jobs more than you worship God. Uh-oh. Hallelujah. Some of us worship.
worship money more than we worship God. Y'all not going to talk back to me. Hallelujah. But see, when you worship God, he'll give you money. Hey, when you worship God, he'll give you more time on your job if you need it. Hallelujah. When you learn to worship God and put him in his rightful place, according to Matthew 6 and 33, when God said, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added. I got a, I got a church today. I hear y'all with the word shall be added unto you. Hallelujah. This is a time where we got to be like the woman with the issue of blood. See, she was so desperate. Hallelujah. She had an issue for a long time. And that's just like people, you know. That's just like the church. That's just like many of us. We got issues. But we don't want to give it over to God. But the woman with the issue of blood, she said, I ain't stunting people no more. Hey. She said, I, hey, Shatanda Baha. The Bible said that she heard Jesus. Come on, read it for yourself. She heard that Jesus was in town. How did she hear? Because they was talking about the healer. Woo. Hallelujah. That's why God need a messenger in the land to talk about healing. Hallelujah. Because then they'll say, let me come get some of that healing. Hallelujah. I said, let me come get some of that deliverance. Oh, y'all not going to talk back to me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's when you come to church and you get your healing and get your deliverance and even salvation. Because the truth of the matter is we ain't got that many evangelists on the street corners no more. Amen. Evangelizing, winning souls back to God. Because people are afraid to come out of the house. Come on, y'all afraid to listen. All people are afraid to do a whole lot of stuff now. But we bind the spirit of fear in the name of Jesus. And we cast it, hey, Shatan Baha, back to hell and from the pits of hell where it has come from. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a, I got a church today. And a sound mind. The woman with the issue of blood. Listen, she didn't miss her healing. Amen. She pressed her way to Jesus in spite of her situation. See, because back in the Bible days, if a woman was bleeding, she wasn't supposed to come out the house. Come on. But she said, you know what? I ain't starting folk no more, Pastor Darlene. She said, you know what? I had this issue for a little too long. And ain't nobody else coming to help me. I done, listen, spent all the money on doctors and everybody else. I done did everything that I tried to do on my own. She said, wait a minute. Ain't none of that working. She said, I got to get to the Messiah. She said, if I could just touch the hem of his garment. Hallelujah. She said, I know. She said, I know I will be made whole without a shadow of a doubt. Just, you know, get real close to him. She said, I just need a shatan behind. Just touch the him. Because she knew she was already in a low place. She already knew that she needed healing. She already knew that she was a little weak. She already knew glory to God. Come on, woman of God. She already knew that her situation was trying to overtake her. So she said, I'm going to overtake my situation by giving it to Jesus. Woo, yes, God. So the woman with the issue of blood. The Bible says she pressed her way. She pressed her way. She pressed her way. She pressed her way. Hey, get it in your spirit. Learn how to press. I told y'all where I came from because we learned how to press there. Listen, we learn how to press through adversity. Hallelujah. We learn how to press. Glory to God where I came from. Hallelujah. So let me tell you something. I'm here now. I'm in North Carolina. And there's no way I'm going to let the snow. Hallelujah. Overtake me. It's no way. Because you got power over every devil. You got power in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout, I got power. Hey. Even the apostle Paul, hallelujah. In Philippians chapter 3, verse 13 and 14. Y'all turn there real quick. Hallelujah. Philippians chapter 3, 13 and 14. Amen. The Apostle Paul said, my brethren, I count not myself to be apprehended. He said, but this one thing I do, I'm forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth to the things that are before. He says, I press towards the mark. Somebody shall press. Hallelujah. For the mark, hallelujah, of the high calling of God that is in Christ Jesus. He made up in his mind. He said, wait a minute. My past is my past. And my past was designed to destroy me. So why should I go back to something? Hallelujah. That was designed to take my life. Hey, go it. He said, I count not myself to be stopped in my tracks. That's 
what apprehension means. See, a lot of things have come in your life to apprehend you, hey, to get you to stop in your tracks while you're running for God. But you got to say like the Apostle Paul, hallelujah, you got to say, I count not myself to be stopped, but this one thing I do, I'm forgetting those things that are behind me. Sister Hattie is over now. Sister Hattie, the past is over. So you got to let it go in the name of Jesus. The Apostle Paul said, he said, I'm forgetting
Instead of getting mad and jealous and all that, the Lord ain't tell her to do that. Let me see what God gonna do with Riley. He watching through Facebook every single chance that they get. Y'all not gonna talk back to me every time they get. They don't know that when they on your Facebook live and it's going live that you can see they was watching. Come on. Then you inbox them and say, did you enjoy the service? I saw you watching. Hey, you might as well sow a seed while you're at it so God can bless. Come on here. That's right, looking and watching. Come on, somebody. That's a word for somebody in the house. Your enemies is watching you. Let them keep on looking. Because God is about to prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. Tell them keep on watching. Matter of fact, get you some binoculars. Get you some binoculars. That's what I tell my enemies. Get you some binoculars. They say, why binoculars? Because I'm going real far. I'm going so far. Because God is taking me where I need to go. He said, when I show up, my God, today. 
Hey, hallelujah. He said, hey, Shatan Nabaha. He told Lazarus, he said, Lazarus, come forth. Who am I talking to on Facebook? Because you've been dead long enough. I'm talking to somebody else in here. You've been dead long enough. And just like Lazarus, God called him forth. But it wasn't until Lazarus responded. Hallelujah to God. He was bound at Shatan Nabaha. The Bible says he was bound hand and foot. He was in grave clothes. Y'all better help me preach today so we can close it on out. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And what happened with Lazarus is the time. It wasn't until Jesus called his name. He said, Lazarus, come forth. Hey. And the Bible said that Lazarus responded. He had the response, Sister Pamela. That's why I tell people, say something. Don't just sit there. You know God is calling you. And you just sitting there like a bump on the law. Say something. Move. Do something. Come on. Because you don't want to stay there, right? Hey, you don't want to stay in that barren place, right? You want there to be life and life more abundantly. Hallelujah. So Jesus said to Lazarus, come forth. And Lazarus came bound. And the Bible said he responded. Ooh. After being dead for four whole days and stinking. Somebody shout that was a miracle. Come on up here, Sister Ty. Hey, hallelujah. It was a miracle. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It was a miracle. Thank you, Jesus. I said it was a miracle. Hey, It was a miracle. Glory. Hallelujah. But something that Lazarus had to do was he had to respond. And the Lord said, because you pressed your way. You don't even understand the attack that's taking place in your life. You're saying, I done been good to everybody. I done did for everybody, but now ain't nobody there for me. Am I speaking truth? Glory to God. And it's like now you're saying the devil tried to flick my body and take me out of here. I see you speaking life over yourself. So I'm going to touch and agree with life. Hey, shatan in the name of Jesus. That God give your life and that more abundantly. That God spare you and that God give and that God give you a miracle in the name of Jesus. If I got a praying church, I need y'all praying right here. I said, if I got a praying church, do I have a praying church? She needs a miracle. Hey, and God gonna give you that miracle when I lay hands on you. Just like last week said, the come forward, let's just come on my side. Hey, Hey! 
Amen. Because I see in your community, in your area, it's a lot of warfare that is going on. Amen. It's a lot of warfare. I see a lot of darkness around you. Amen. Glory to God. So you need God to keep you. So I'm going to pray in the name of Jesus that God will keep your mind stayed on him. That you will stay focused. Somebody shout focus. That you will stay focused on the Lord. Glory to God. Quiet your spirit the next 32 days. The Lord says 32 days. Quiet your spirit. Because the enemy is watching you. And he wants to snatch what God has given you. It's a new thing that God is doing. Hey, shake and It's a new thing that God is doing for you in this ministry. Everybody will not come. Everybody will not understand. You might tell them, but everybody will not understand the move of God. So God says, quiet your spirit for the next 32 days. Get on the prayer line. Come to church. And God's going to do it for you. Somebody shall do it, Lord. Somebody shall do it, Lord. Hey, somebody shall do it, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody give a praise. Come on, give a praise. Anybody else? Come on, give a praise. Hope. Give a praise. Come on, church. Give a praise. Come on. We got about 60 more seconds. Come on, there's two more in the building that can sow. It's five on Facebook Live. I hear it. It's five of you that can plant a seed. Come on. Come on, get that seed in the ground. Amen. Come on, y'all want this building to stay here, right? <laughs> Come on. Okay, all right, that was quiet. Okay, maybe y'all don't want the church. Okay. All right. I ain't bringing y'all in my house now. House church is over. That was 10 years ago. Come on here. Hallelujah. Y'all want to keep the edifice, right? Come on, plant that seed. Amen in Jesus' name. Father, right now, oh God, I just touch your daughter, Lord, from the crown of her head. God, I said you touch her from the soles of the soles of her feet, oh God. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, God, grant unto her what she's asking you for, Father. Oh God, anoint her fresh for your glory and break every cycle, every chain in the name of Jesus. Oh God, even the mind battles, in the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 the terror, the trauma. Oh, shake it. In the name of Jesus, God, break it for your glory. Destroy it for your glory. Father, renew her mind again. Oh, renew her thoughts again to the obedience of you, Lord. To you, Lord. To be the, the obedience of Christ in the name of Jesus. That God, she will continue to have a desire to, oh God, to fight and a desire to run to see what the end shall be. hear God saying the struggle is over. No more fighting. No more warring within your spirit. Sometimes we war against what God is saying. Mm. Oh! Sometimes, uh-huh, God just renewed your mind. Hey! Sometimes we war against what the Father is saying for our lives. Our lives. Amen. And that message today was for you. Keep on pressing. Keep on being the pillar for your family. Oh. Yes, God. Uh-huh. Continue to be the intercessor. Come on. Yes. Let it ring up. Let it ring up out of your spirit. Yes. Yes. Let God breathe on it. Hope. Oh. Let him renew your prayer language. Yes, God. Come on. Let him do it. Come on. There's a birthing. There's a birthing. There's a birthing. Oh, there's a birthing. Yes, 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 yes. There's a rebirthing. And there's a new birth. Oh, in this season, woman of God. Mm -hmm. Fire in your belly. Oh, fire. 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 Fire in your belly. Fire of God. Oh. The fire. Mm -hmm. While you praising them, just say, I receive it. While you praising them in your heavenly language, just say, I receive it. You speaking in tongues, but say, I receive it in English. Uh huh. You still speaking in tongues. See? See, there it is. Yes. Oh. I don't 
don't know this woman. This is what you say. I don't know this woman. I got to test her spirit. You say, I don't know her. I got to test her spirit. I got to see if she really led her to the Lord. Did you say that? Did you say that? Did you say that about me? Mm. I know. I, come on. I just heard that in the spirit. Mm -hmm. And that's good to guard your heart, but the spirit of the Lord led you here. It's something that God want to do in you and through you. But in order for him to do it through you, you got to be consecrated again. Ho! Oh! Consecrated again. Fasting and praying again. Turn down your plate again. Oh, you know my mind's sick here. Yes. Because there's a healing in the family that is needed. And it's going to happen through you and your prayers. Somebody give the Lord a hand clap of praise. It's going to happen through you and your prayers. Oh, yes. In Jesus' name. Somebody shout in Jesus' name. God bless you. Hallelujah. Come on all over the house. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. All over the house. Glory to God. Come on. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Amen. We thank God for the team on today. Amen. We thank God for our musicians. Praise the Lord. Amen. We do have to exit the building expeditiously. Amen. We thank God for you, 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 and you. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm going to keep on pressing. Come on. Look at somebody different and say, I'm going to keep on pressing. In Jesus' name. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. Glory to God. Did you all receive the word of the Lord today? Amen. Hallelujah. The pressing to keep on pressing. How many of y'all was blessed? You was blessed in the service today? Hallelujah. Yes, we thank God. I tell you, I received the word for myself, but I received all of it. And we hope that you all have received it as well to God. We thank God for the moving of his spirit and all that he's already done in the service on today. Hallelujah. So we're going to begin to um, gather our stuff. We're going to begin to pray out so we can exit on today. If everyone would just stand, we just have a word of prayer as we pray out and we receive our brother Ernest at this time as he prays us out. Amen. Amen. I'll pray over the offering and pray us out. Father God, in the name of Jesus, so we thank you for this offering that we raised on today, God. We're thankful for those who gave, those who wanted to give but couldn't give, God. We ask that you bless them a hundredfold, a thousandfold, whatever the need may be, God. We ask that you pour out a blessing on those who gave, those who couldn't give, God. We ask that you birth out the spiritual babies, Lord God. We ask that you anoint them in fire, Lord God. We ask that you birth them out here, Lord God. We ask that you protect over their spiritual babies, Lord God. We ask that you cover our minds, keep our minds covered with your blood. Give us a right now mind, a sound mind, Lord God. We ask that you come against anything that may be hindering us in our spirits. We ask that you break off the chains, break off the shackles that may have came when they may have been here when they came, but we ask that you take them off as they're leaving, Lord God. We ask that you help them feel lighter on today, Lord God. Keep them covered with your blood. Keep them covered throughout the week, Lord God. We ask that you give them strength to finish the water consecration on this week, Lord God. Give them a strong mind, a sound mind, Lord God, and we ask that you cover over us and keep us covered with your blood until we meet again. In Jesus' name that I pray, amen. You're all dismissed.